That night, Kane Morgan was lost in the dreams of his childhood. He saw the charred remains of his home. He saw himself standing alone amid the wreckage. His mother and father were nowhere to be found. Kane was very young at the time, so young that he didn't really understand that he lived in a country known as Solskia and that the neighboring country, Aldeen, had suddenly become a cruel, aggressive invader. There was one other thing. They had all left for the island. That was all he was able to remember. Hungaria was the largest country in the western continent. The elders, who at the time were the acting rulers, had abruptly dispatched a group of knights to a place known as the Island of No Return. The young king, a man called Ian, who was known for his fairness and moderate manner, inquired with the elders as to the meaning of such a dispatch, but the elders didn't bother to reply. Gillian Morgan, the loyal leader of the king's retinue, was concerned about Ian, so he decided he would learn for himself what the elders were up to. He had but one piece of evidence to guide him. It was a vague utterance made by one of the elders. Somewhere on the island of no return was a ring imbued with eternal power. It was not a time for indecision. Gillian proposed to the king that his own son, Cain, should journey to this island. A few days later, before daybreak, a small boat departed from the port of Hungaria. It was a boat secretly obtained by Gillian for one purpose only, to carry his son, Cain, holding in his hand a sealed scroll from King Ian to the island of no return.
Oh, you're from the mainland. We've been expecting you. I'm Evans. Let me take that letter from you. Hmm. It says here to add you as a member of our team. Oh boy, this means we'll need the captain's approval. But he's always asleep. What can we do? I guess we just can't send you back. It's direct orders from the king. There's nothing we can do. Okay, let me take your sword. I'll put it in safekeeping as part of the team's inventory. Please get a replacement from Wallace at the warehouse. He's in charge of supplies. This is a weapon request form. Please go to the warehouse and give it to Wallace. Emblem. I heard there was someone coming from the mainland. So that was you, huh? <laughs> I was expecting more than just a young boy for being the king's favorite. What is it? I'm sleeping. Talk to me later. So, you're the new guy from the mainland, right? Welcome to this miserable island. <laughs> so, you're the new guy. What are you really doing here? Yeah? The king wants you to retrieve the eternal power? <laughs> hey, sorry. I'm a nosy person. I won't tell the captain. Why don't you visit the shrine? There might be something of interest there. But that's only if you can open the water gate. How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? You're the new member. You're hurt. Wait here just a second. Okay, all done. I've heard about you from the assistant captain. You're from the mainland. I'm Marie Fowler. I'm the chief medic here. I'm pleased to meet you. Tell me right away if you get hurt. We have medicine available here.
Oh, yes. Marcus is sleeping in that cabin in back over there. So please be quiet, okay? He was attacked by a monster when he was with the captain, and he's been in bed ever since. He's been sleeping, and he sometimes thrashes around, like he's afraid of something. This happened once before, but that soldier suddenly disappeared. His injuries have healed, but he's still in pain. Gosh, I hope it's not some strange disease. Hmm, have you met the captain? He's at the small cabin, way in the back. I don't know if I should say this, but didn't you find something odd about him? Everybody else says he's upset because the research isn't producing any results. But he won't answer, even if I talk to him. And I'm kind of scared. I'm really not a military person. I heard about the army before, and I really wanted to come here. There's an old place ahead. It looks something like a shrine. There was a civilization on this island at one time. Now it's a nest of monsters. But I wonder what happened to the people who built it. Be careful. Give you a sword? All right, here, how about this? By the way, I know that some rare gems can be found on this island. 
They'd be worth a lot of money back on the mainland. Not many people live here anymore. Resources are excessively abundant. Hey, you, do you need anything? Did you find any gems?
Lila. Uh -huh. 